Alrighty y'all, so I decided to do a 2014 final manga basically showcase type video. I'll be doing this, if, depends how long I'm on YouTube, I'll be doing this like every year or every half a year. I'll be doing basically showcasing all of the manga, light novel, and anime that I purchased in that year. So this would be year be 2014, so let's start shall we? Alright, let's go with from here. So. Uh, it was Nisekoi Volume 1. Nisekoi is basically the whole harem type thing. If you're into harem romances, it's really interesting. It basically talks about these girls, whatever, and one of them apparently uh, said that in, when they were child, when they were children, they said that they would eventually marry the main character, Raku. I can't remember his name for my life. Raku, basically, and they gave, they basically had like a little key hole type necklace and a key, and they were able to unlock it. You know, they would basically get married in the future. I mean, I've explained the best, but it's an interesting series if you do like hand romances, check that out. Bakano, now this is the first anime I ever purchased. It's, I can't explain Bakano without being mind fucked. It's basically, it's not a linear path, it's multitudes of paths simultaneously telling the same story but different ways with different kids' perspectives. It's gangsters basically who are immortal and they're having an alchemy battle. And it's just highly interesting. You should definitely check out Bakano if you can. Now, Magi. I have talked about Magi a lot on my channel. I'm actually planning to do a review of the anime Magi very soon. It's two seasons. The first season is dubbed. And it takes a whole theme of Arabian Nights, whole Arabian aspect. Basically, it talks about the whole flow of fate. And Magis are people who can basically choose kings. And I mentioned different types of Magis in the show. You get to see whole corruption of different countries, how different each country rules. And it's just a really interesting magical show. Check it out if you can. I definitely recommend you watch the anime and read the manga if you can. Yomagon. Yomagon is actually like one of the first sighted mangas that I actually only talks about a child soldier named Jonathan Mars. And his parents were killed by a fighter jet with the all latest technology and everything else. And he resents, he hates weapons, arms used, and people who use them. He used weapons himself too. He uses actually really well. He's a child soldier. And this talks about his journey with the arms dealer Coco Hakimati, who's part of the HCLI company, the very big in the whole arms dealing industry. One Piece, obviously, I'm not going to explain. One Piece talks about Luffy, Monkey Luffy adventures. I'll pick up Yomagon if you can. Obviously, I'm saying if you can because now you will be able to afford all these manga, but if you can watch, read it online or watch online, do so and plan to, please. Because all these manga that pick up our shows and everything I've really enjoyed. And One Piece, well, basically about Monkey D. Luffy's adventure to become the Pirate King, a really popular shonen series. If you have not read it, I think you should at least give the time of day to read the first few chapters if you can. Death Note, yes. By the way, L is my mascot for my channel, and L has changed the world, and basically another note, a basically alternate look. Basically another note, I believe, talks about um, that one detective girl, whatever, and her... And L's journey through when they're trying to stop um, B, the murder of B and his like murder cases in Los Angeles. It's a really good detective novel. So this is one of my favorite like you know novels I've read of any book. It's a light novel, so basically it has words instead of pictures. That's what a light novel is. And L, sorry about that bump if you heard that. L changed the world. His whole alternate look in Death Note. What happened if you know L didn't meet his demise or you know you know I, I might have spoiled it but it eventually does happen. My apologies if you're watching it or plan to watch it I'm a kind of I don't fucking know whatever. It's a whole alternate look on the Death Note world. And the uh, Death Note Volume 1 this is actually the first manga that I've ever purchased. I regret purchasing the black edition. I wish I could purchase the entire box set but it's for 70 bucks on uh, Amazon. I might do that in the future. Full Metal Alchemist Volumes, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, I purchased it 3 in once, and this is some of my favorite anime and manga ever, y'all, I really enjoyed the anime, we watched the anime, we watched Brotherhood, which follows the manga, and Full Metal Alchemist Original follows the whole original story, and it's, I heard Full Metal Alchemist Original is good, but Brotherhood is one of my preferred versions, and the better version, I believe it was released in 2009, it was just, Absolutely a brilliant. She talks about basically Edward Elric and Alphonse Elric and basically did a human taboo which is basically trying to bring a human back to life using alchemy and they're trying to result in failure and now basically Ed Ed's brother Alphonse who's the guy in the armor is basically stuck in armor, his soul is a bound of armor and Ed had to lose his uh our right arm and his leg. 
my apologies for about to do there and talk about their journey throughout the world and you get to see different like themes of corruption growth also how homunculus is also involved in there as well different villains just good care development i really did enjoy there's some really feelsy moments but it's absolutely an enjoyable show and you should take the time every day to at least watch or read the show Finally, Battle Royale. I have actually no idea what it's about because I have not read this yet. I believe it's a Hunger Games anime. It is the light novel version, so it's basically you read it and you're gonna see it's a really big book. I can't wait to read this one of these days. It's gonna be really enjoyable. And Wolf Children. Wolf Children absolutely puts a tear to my every time I think about the whole premise. It's basically about the themes, the show themes of family, love, and how. Apparently, this, uh, the main character basically married a wolf man who basically was like the last breed of wolf man, whatever. And they eventually had children, and the children are basically half wolf, half human. So, hence, they have wolf children. And they're talking about her, how she's trying to raise the children in a society where basically it's not very normal to have those kind of children. It's amazing. I absolutely love it. So, overall, well, that is my manga pickups for the year 2014. Sorry if I explained anything horribly. I'll try to explain this quote again. I know I explained this quote very horribly because I just can't explain this whole romance type trilogy, time not trilogy, but romance type thing, harem. It's not, not everyone will enjoy the manga. I think the animated this quote is better than the manga this quote, but overall, it's just highly enjoyable manga. Pick it up if you can. So pick up any of these manga, light novels, books, or anything if you ever have the money or time to. So. Be sure to like the video if you guys did enjoy the video. Hopefully you guys had a happy 2014. My 2014 was meh, it wasn't the best. I thought 2013 was better for me in terms of my life. I, it's some bit, some bad shit happened this year. Some really amazing stuff happened this year as well. Be sure to comment below what type of manga do you guys have. Actually, if you guys can do me a favor, if you have a Twitter account and you have like mangas and everything, just tweet at me your collection of anime, DVDs, whatever you can, because I would really love to see a collection. Just, I love when people tweet me the collection and stuff. So subscribe if you have not already. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Tumblr, and everything is linked in the description below. The beat also using the video will also be linked in the description below. Let's guys there. Farewell.